Superpass is a very innovative way of doing a hip replacement. It essentially is a technique that allows us to perform this operation in a manner that preserves the muscles and ligaments at the front and back of the hip joint that are usually cut to gain access to the hip joint. This makes it the least invasive technique when considering the soft tissues around the hip joint. With improving outcomes, more younger people are having hip replacements and as such patient expectations are also changing. Patients are often up walking within hours of their surgery and usually back to day-to-day -day activities within weeks. How's that? Good. Good. Absolutely. Okay. How long yep. after your hip replacement? Uh, two hours. Alright. Two hours. How are you going there? I'm going pretty good. Okay. What have you had done? We just had a total hip replacement on the right side. How long ago? Half. How long? An hour and a half. Okay. Can you just pull your knee up? Grab hold of it. Hold yeah, it? Yeah, pull it up as high up as you can. Good? Comfortable enough? Yes, okay. you I couldn't your... do that yesterday. The hip replacement is extremely stable, which means that people can sit in a low chair, use a normal toilet seat, squat, cross their legs, sleep on the side, etc., without having to worry about a dislocation. We don't sub-select patients for superpath on the basis of their size or body habitus. Okay, Savannah, we're three hours after your operation and you're walking without any aids. Yep. Well done. Excellent, just walk back and forth a couple of times. Nine days later. Good, and back. Back. Okay, one more time, please, Christina. Essentially, anyone who's a candidate for a hip replacement could potentially have it done using Superpath. Superpath's a relatively new technique, and the results in the US have been excellent. Uh, I've started Superpath in Australia a couple of years ago, and I have to say our results in the short to midterm are very pleasing and show a lot of promise. At the end of the day, a hip replacement done well will have a good outcome irrespective of technique. While Superpath has some potential benefits, any surgery is associated with risks and outcomes can be influenced by a multitude of factors. Surgery should always be the last resort and only considered when symptoms are intrusive in one's lifestyle and simpler non-surgical measures are ineffective.